Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 on problems on analysis of beams. Here I am giving you a demo on cantilever beam supported at one end and subjected to transfer loading at the other end using ANSYS release 14 of mechanical APDL. As you know, in the session 1 of this cantilever beam analysis, I have already proved using theoretical methods how exactly the bending moment diagram has to be got, how exactly shear force diagram has to be obtained and uh, the reaction support and all that we have done. And even in, in fact, the log file operation also I have introduced. Now in this session, what I will concentrate here is the deflection curve of the beam and bending stress diagram. I will concentrate on the bending stress diagram exclusively for this problem. In the previous session, I have not covered the bending stress diagram. In the previous session, it was only shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. Now, I will concentrate on bending stress diagram and also theoretically what exactly is the maximum bending stress obtained. Okay. Now, see here the problem is same. The problem is same 5 kilo, five meter, 10 kilo newton and all that. And E is 210 GPA, Poisson's ratio 0.27, everything is same. See here, the, see here these things I have already explained. This is a cantilever beam fixed at A and uh, at B you have a load of 10 kilo Newton. Then uh, uh, that is reaction at A, this I have already proved uh, 10,000 Newtons in the previous session only. Shear force diagram also I have shown minus 10,000 Newtons and bending moment diagram also I have shown as my minus uh, 50,000 Newton meter and uh, that is using ANSYS APDL, it is very close to this. Now we will concentrate on maximum bending stress. See here, my bending uh, stress formula is m into y by i maximum bending moment as you know it is 50,000 50,000 you put y you see here the depth should be parallel to y okay depth 0.2 is the width depth is should be parallel to y you take 0.3 by 2 divided by i i is moment of inertia of the cross section it is rectangular cross section 0.2 into 0.3 cube by 12 only you take if you do that 1.6 into 10 to the power of 7 pascals or 1.6 into 10 to the power of 7 Newton per meter square you get or 0.16 into 10 to the power of 8 Newton per meter square you get. See here, this is a very important thing. You don't interchange it. 0.2 into 0.3 cube by 12. That is breadth into depth cube by 12. Depth should always be more. When the depth is more, I will be more. Okay, as a result, stress will be less. That is why in any beam has to be placed in such a way that the depth should be more. That means you should be applying load on a smaller surface. What I will be demonstrating you in the answers. Okay. Depth should be more. I am telling you if it is 5 into 10. Okay. 5 meter by 10 meter. 5 into 10 cube by 12. Then the bottom surface or bottom portion will be more. As a result, stress will be less. Okay, now maximum bending stress, actually you should get it as this 1.6 into 10 to the power of 7 because the cross section is 0.2 into 0 0.3, 0 0.2, breadth you see, 0.3 cube by 12 are done, not 0.2 cube by 12, then we can, can take care. Okay, now we'll go by answers, how to do this and all that. I have created a new log file. Okay, I have created a new list log file you see here. A new log file has been created. Okay, under Gurudat beam problem to bending bending stress. Here cantilever beam analysis, bending stress diagram. Okay. This you have done. Now I will start doing, Professor, that is the preferences. Structural you take. Okay, you say. Okay. Preprocessor. Element type. Add, edit, delete. Add you take. Beam 2 node 188 only you take. Okay, you say. Okay. Close you do. Okay. Real constant you don't have to feed. That directly we feed it in the section. Material property say. Material models you take, okay, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. Here it is 210 E9. Okay, this is 210 E9 and 0.27 is the Poisson's ratio. Okay, 210 E9 and Poisson's ratio is 0.27. This you have got it. Material exit you do. Okay, then sections. Beam, common section. Here you see, okay, 
breadth is 0.2, height is 0 0.3. Height is 0 0.3. That is depth is 0 0.3. Take carefully 0.2 and is the same way. B depth is height. Okay, 0 0.3 you take. They say okay. Okay. Now you have done this. Then we'll go for the modeling. Now you have a small change procedure. Please observe. For getting bending stress is not that easy unless you know this procedure. This orientation of the beam has to be done. Okay. These things I'll show you now. Create key points in active coordinate system. Okay. You just say 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, apply you say. Then 2 you say. This is 5, 0, 0 you take. Apply you say. 3 you take. 5 and minus 1. Some random point you take. 5 minus 1, I tell you. This 5 minus 1 you take. Just say okay. Okay. The significance of this you will know later on. Okay, right now don't worry about this. This is 0, 0, 0. This is 5, 0, 0. This is 5, minus 1, 0. Okay, in that way. Now create lines, straight line. You join this point to this point. Join this point to this point. In that way you finish that. Okay. Okay. Now, you join this, then you go for meshing, go for meshing, mesh attributes, okay, pick it lines you do, this is very important now, you pick this line, say okay, pick orientation key point, you make it yes, sir. compulsory will make it yes, okay, you just say okay, click on this point, Click on this point and say okay. Okay. This you do it. Then size controls, manual size, lines, picket lines. You take this and okay you say. And number of divisions 50 or 100 you do. Let's say okay. 50 lines and all that. Then meshing, mesh, lines. Pick call or pick this line. Okay, you say. Okay, now as you see here, list elements, if you go here, 50 elements would have been created. Correct? No? Yeah, 50 elements would have been created. Now the important thing you see up there, plot controls, style, size and shape, display element on you do, I'll make it 3D. Okay, I'll say. Okay. Then you see here, I'll make it in this way. I'll go to isometric. You see, this is 0.2, this is 0.3. See, this is 0.2, this is 0.3. That means you should be applying the load here in the negative y direction. You see, why is this? In the negative y direction, so that the stresses are lesser. You can't apply here. That means this cannot be uh, D. This has to be D. That is, this has to be 0.3, this has to be 0.2. When the depth is more, your stresses developed will also be less. The beams always have to be oriented in this way only. This orientation is a new one, which I am telling you. I told you even in the earlier problem one also. Now also I am telling you. Okay. Now you see here. Plot controls, style, size and shape, display element off. I will just say okay. And I will go to the front view. Okay. Then you see here. Then I will go for the loads. Uh, defined loads, apply structural displacement on key points. You click on this. Oh, okay, you say all degrees of freedom you are restricted. Okay, here. Yeah. Then force moment on key points. You click on this. Just say okay. And F5 is minus 10,000 only. Let it be that. Okay. F5 is minus 10,000. Okay, now you see here, this is very important. Now I have already, okay, I have already loaded. That means solution, solve current LS, you can do this. Now you see here, once I have loaded this way, okay, you can just see whether your loading is proper or not. Plot controls, style, size and shape, display element of, 
okay just say this and plot controls symbols all applied boundary conditions okay plot and multi plot if you see clearly you can see this is the thing this is point 3 this is point 2 and you are loading in the y direction that is negative y direction and your loading is proper clearly understand this is point 2 this is point 3 when you load it because if you don't do this orientation it will say it will turn by 90 degree and your loading will be improper and you will get the wrong answer okay in that way you should do properly okay now plot controls style size and shape since you know it's all correct it is okay i just say okay then plot multi plot plot elements i'll go i'll go just go for the front view okay now you see here now this is all over solution solve current ls you do just say okay solution is done okay this is okay this has been done correctly till now now general post process you go first thing now deform shape now you are getting properly because you loaded properly in the the depth is correctly you have aligned and you are loading in the negative y direction in that way whatever you get this has to be the proper thing this 0.004421 this is since i have all done it in meters this is 0.004421 meters is the thing is the deformation curve the maximum deformation is this this you record and compulsorily uh, uh, plot controls write beta file and invert block and write in that way you record this and paste it in your uh, record book and all that then after that i am um, we are worried about the uh, element table you see here define table okay add you do by sequence number smisc 34 and 39 apply you do 34 and 39 if you do 34 and 39 from the element uh, output definition table of 188 i have taken the 34 and 39 if you take you are getting bending stress diagram okay now plot results line element results 34 and 39 if you do you are getting this okay you see here this is zero here and at this point maximum bending stress is how much 0.165 into 10 to the power of 8 that is what you have got here also okay 0.16 into 10 to the power of 8 newton per meter square it is exactly matching with the theoretical one okay bending stress diagram you draw in the same way okay whatever you got here you draw in the same way that is this is zero and at the by the time you come here it is 0.165 into 10 to the power of 8 which is clearly matching with the theoretical answer okay now once you do this okay once you do this you know everything has been done and uh, the bending stress has been done uh, properly okay then plot elements you do okay then you can uh, go for plot controls animate deform results okay deform uh, that is in the uy deformation or you some you take okay this also you can do this deform that is uh, this is the deformation that is deformation animation this you say close okay plot elements you do in the same way file list log file you take you copy the entire thing okay copy the entire thing control c okay and control c you do and then even if you do this no uh you then you what you can do here you can uh, re clear start new you do this fit now if you do this control v if you press and if you do this you are getting the whatever results you have done everything you get it back okay 